How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor. We're going to be doing three battles from the Enter the Dragon type competition. This will be part one of three battles, and then part two will be coming on later this weekend. But here we are. This is the first battle that I think was an entertaining battle. If you have not seen my team overview video, I posted it last night. But if you wanted to see it, I'll put it in the description. But if you don't want to and see the battles, here we are. Alright, now, I begin with my Hariyama and Mewtwo. Mewtwo is Scarf. I decided to go for a fake out with my Hariyama here. And I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I did. But Sheer Force will not allow fake out to have its secondary effect of flinching the opponent. But that's okay, because we can double target the Greninja, because I figured, meh, Greninja is pretty powerful and threatening all its own, so we have to double target. The downside of all that is I get my opponent a free setup here with his whole Corona. That is unfortunate. Here I go into Evel Call now, and I just wanted to see if I can take a Bug Blitz. If I can, then that's great. But that also means that he could also by passing on the next turn because he's faster. But it's alright because we have Rock Slide and that's why I saved it until now because I figured Volcarona is more vo is more vulnerable to Mewtwo and Evolta at this point. I know okay we need to take him out of the match like right now. So it kind of heelless. I'm not sure what to expect from him. And so I go into Altaria now, Altaria, whatever. I figured I could take a Dragon Rush for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't think that was a great play on my end. But I lose Altaria without Mega Evolving. That really sucks. Here I miss the Thunder, or he misses the Thunder. And that's great, because now I can hit the Garchomp very hard. Because Twilight Play does damage based on how high your Garchomp is. And since he's set up, Foul Play is going to do a lot more damage otherwise. Now, I know I lost my Altaria, and that's just unfortunate there. And here I go for another fake out, and that does a lot after Shurfles, right? Not really, but, you know, I just wanted to go for that move. I think I will not use fake out anymore because it's not reliable. But hey, let's just go for it because... And there's no reason to go for Oxide because there's not two Pokemon on the field. Anyway, so I saved Mewtwo after this because of Oresteer. Choice Scarf. Oresteer is going to clean out Heelisk and that's going to seal the battle for there. Alright, that's part one. Or part one battle one, I guess. So we'll move on to the second Wi-Fi battle video here. This is going to be an entertaining one because... We see Grudon with Eagle Slash, Kiram, and Dilla. We'll see how we do with that. Alright, thank you for challenging me there. I decided to lead out with Hariyama and Evil Call against Grudon, Primo Grudon, I mean, and Eagle Slash. Now, Eagle Slash could have a weakness policy, but Really, the main threat is Primal Grudon. And this is why I started out with Evil Call, because Evil Call has foul play. We'll hopefully get a chance to use that against Primal Grudon, but for Eagle Slash, I'm not worried about it. He goes for King Shield on turn one. We're not going to target you right now. I decided to go for the Y Guard now because Precipital Blades. There you go, that's the reason I'm bringing Harry on like this turn. And that way I can bypass the Pacifical Blades and not take any damage, and holy crap, that did a lot of damage. I missed, I missed the Stone Edge, or he misses the Stone Edge. Yeah, I'm not getting that right. But, that way I can take out Eagle Slash without hit doing anything, and that's great. I'm not sure how threatening the Eagle Slash would be, but I'm not going to worry about it now. And we take out Rudon. That was a productive turn in my favor there. I lost. Or he lost two Pokemon. Wow. Alright then. 
I must just not worry about that now. We can just focus on the other two Pokemon. Now, I'm not sure what about Imposter. Imposter might choose a random Pokemon. In this case, it's going to be Evelto. Now, it's not like I'm worried about Evelto. Um... He goes for a blue beam ring. I'm okay with this. This way I can bring in Mewtwo for free and just hit him with an ice beam or I could bring in Mega Altaria and go from there. I see that he's life orb. That's great. And here I go for Fan Force. I'm just doing it. I don't see the reason to go for a Dark Pulse or a blue beam ring. Anything like that. So why not go for a Fan Force? I've decided to sell it on YouTube going for Ice Beam, and that's going to work out because I'm going to hit the Hotel or the Ditto if you want to, and we just take him out. If he goes for Blizzard, interestingly, he hit it. Of course, I am using Gen Force. I'm not going to take any damage from the Blizzard otherwise, and I lose HP because I have the Life Orb. We're gonna go for another Ice Beam here. I'm not doing a lot of damage because White Kiram is part Ice, but you know what? It's neutral. I'm okay with the Volcal going down right here. That's fine. And we can bring in Altaria and hopefully we can seal the battle. So far this tournament, I'm like, what, 12-8? I'm not doing well, although I am having more wins and losses, but that's okay. I, I feel like this, ha this facing fairy types, like if my opponent has a fairy type, I will hopefully not lose, but in the end I do because I don't have anything for fairy types. But that's neither here nor there. We take out my second opponent and now we're going to go for battle number three and we'll conclude the battle from there. You see that my opponent has a very interesting team. With Furret, Quadsire, Holo, I, I just feel like, you know what, this guy is not very skilled. He was out with Furret and Quadsire. I begin with Mewtwo and Harion. On turn one, I had to figure out, okay, who's going to do what? I want to withdraw my Harion, save him for later. I go into Evolcal, expecting maybe an Earthquake or something weird like that, but... I don't see that working out. We're going to go for Aura Spirit. For some reason, my opponent doesn't have a Focus Sash. you think that Furret would have that, but no. He goes for Curse, and I'm like, okay, great. With Evolcal in here, I can go for Foul Play. I could do that, right? That's a great idea. Here comes Ampharos. Now, I want to save Mewtwo for that Ice Beam on the Ampharos later in the battle. So I go into Altaria now. I might lose him because I haven't Mega Evolved yet. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Mo Breaker. Not going to work out. Here I show off I'll play. I'm not going to hurt the Quagsire to critical hit. So apparently Quagsire didn't set up enough. He goes for Fucker Bolt. And that's going to take out my evil call. That really sucks because now I can't go for another foul play. He goes for Waterfall and I could have not injure Altaria that much because I resisted it. And this is awesome because now I can bring back a Mewtwo and just hit the Anthros with an Ice Beam. Now I can go for that mega evolution play. Here you are with my Altaria now and we can go for a Moonblast or a Dragon Pulse or whatever. But for some reason, I go for an Ice Beam on the Quagsire. I think I misplayed there, but we take out the Quagsire. Not a problem. And this way, I can go for a Moonblast on the Amphros. I lowered Special Attack. I'm not going to be bothered by that, really. And then we have to face this Holo here. Now, Holo... He might have Brave Bird, in which I still have Hariyama, which Hariyama has a ton of HP. If I can 
freak out and has her out of the down and has the hollow take recoil damage, I can dig it. So we show off the brave bird by hollow and we take out the Altaria. That's unfortunate. That's my side. Man, that's unfortunate. But like I said, you can just go ahead and have her out go down as well. And we just gave her my kind of recoil damage in the end. I am locked in on Ice Beam, which is unfortunate because these are my last two Pokemon. I've decided to go for a Rock Slide. All I have to do is actually hit the Holo like two or three more turns. And we can win the battle. Alright, Ice Beam here. That's not doing enough. Unfortunately. But this is what I'm talking about. Wave Bird to hit Hariyama. That is going to take out Hariyama. Like I predicted, that's a critical hit. That's going to help me out right here. Look at that. We almost take out Hello because of the recoil damage. But you know what? My opponent is going to end up protecting an extra turn. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But this battle is over. I've won all of my battles in this video. I will have some battles that I lose. Just kind of show you all how I misplay and everything. But so far, so good. So I hope you all enjoyed part one of my battles from the Enter the Dragon type competition. Part two is coming up here next time. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye now.